Hey everybody, I'm Sarah. And I'm Vicky. And we're the Drama Mamas. Yeah, we are. This week we are taking on Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's is that's the original. The not 1975. 1975. Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Not the masterpiece. Masterpiece, yes. Not the 2016 Laverne Cox, which is almost different. completely different. I have not seen it. You're not missing much. So it's Vicky's favorite movie. It is. So if you do comment, be gentle. warned. Okay, warned. <laughs> I was going to say be gentle, but okay. Please silence mm-hmm. your cell phones. Viewer discretion is advised. And now your feature presentation. Rocky Horror Picture Show was first, it was a stage play. Yes, in the UK. Yes. Mm-hmm. And Tim Curry was Frankenfurter yes. in the stage production. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he won an award. He did. I saw that on IMDb. I did my research. Yes, I kind of love him <laughs> like a lot. He's fantastic in this role. Like, uh, he's it's... fantastic in every single role ever. Okay. But... I've never seen him. He did the voice in freaking... Oh, shit. If you're about Dr. Doolittle, oh, the okay. little kid, like the version where he's like Plato, whatever. He's like the uncle. I he does a lot of God. voice acting. He does. I love him. So it's a British American musical comedy horror film because that's the genre now. It is. <laughs> it is. Directed it's by. It's a cult classic. That's all that matters. Jim Sharman. Mm-hmm. The screenplay was written by Sharman and Richard O'Brien. Who is also in the movie. Yes. He's Riff Raff, right? He is Riff Raff. Yes. He has and cheekbones he, to end all cheekbones. He has some intense cheekbones <laughs> and his makeup helps a lot. He also sings the entry intro song. Yes, but it's not his lips. It's not. It's Magenta's. Uh, what's her name? Apparently Oakland. she was also in the stage production and she was upset. That she, she wouldn't be seeing because yeah, normally she, she sang, sings that. Yeah. Yeah. She almost dropped out of the movie over it. Luckily for everybody, <laughs> she decided to stay in. I right. And the lips are kind else. of like iconic. Yes. They're iconic. They are, yes. Iconic is the right word. So the production is a parody tribute to the science fiction and horror B movies of the 1930s through the early 70s. Mm hmm. So, along with O'Brien, it stars Tim Curry, Susan Sarandon, and Barry Bostwick, along with cast members from the original Royal Court Theater, Roxy Theater, and Belasco Theater Productions. So, I looked up the director, Jim Sharman. Mm-hmm. He also helped write the screenplay. Mm-hmm. And uh, his previous directorial work before this was one movie, according to IMDb, called Shirley Thompson versus the Aliens Which in 1972. Which I have never watched. I thought, I thought you were about to, like, pull one out and just be like, totally no. watched it. <laughs> I have not watched I've never heard of it. Mm. Um, it I, but if it's anything like Rocky Horror, I bet it's rad. So... Charmin really likes aliens. And weird shit. And like, weird shit. Just weird shit. Like, so six cool. movies in total, according to IMDb. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm not familiar with any of them other than Rocky Horror. Uh, they because all seem to be in the horror, horror adjacent genres. He was probably a pretty creepy dude. Maybe. Or maybe he still is. I mean, maybe I don't know. Maybe he's knee deep in pussy. We don't know. Maybe he's dead. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, (laughs) let's be honest, that was a long time ago. (laughs) The writer, Richard O'Brien, as we said, he played Riff Raff, a handyman. That's the credit. A handyman. Um, He is the butler, Yes, basically. Slash alien. Slash. Backstabber. Slash. Oh, and him, okay. Creature. Here's a bomb that I did not catch in the first time I watched it. Him and Magenta are brother and sister. They are brother and sister. That's a very Lannister vibe. It is very, um, yeah. Because I watched this, you made me watch it with a group of our friends. About a year ago, yeah. Yeah, and I did not pick up on that at all. It yeah. was just, I think it was just like a dropped in well, line. Well, I didn't want to like... Yeah, he says something along the lines of, my dear sister. Yeah. 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 But I didn't want to like... Because it's already a pretty um, weird movie, what? to put it lightly. 
<laughs> and not everybody digs it, which right. let's be honest, if you don't dig Rocky Horror, you don't dig me. Well, Ooh, it sounds like comments. this may be the end of our friendship. <laughs> yeah, it's such a beautiful friendship. So, okay. <laughs> O'Brien worked with Charmin in an acting capacity in the London production of Jesus Christ Superstar in 1972. And then Charmin cast O'Brien as Willie, the alien, in his March 1973 production of Sam Shepard's The Unseen Hand. Mm. So, they apparently work well together. And They're like... Um, Johnny Depp and, and yeah, uh, the other Tim. Tim Burton. Burton. Why did I not remember that? Like, I love those movies, <laughs> too. <laughs> like, I don't know why I remembered it and you didn't. I don't know. Obviously, um, I like weird stuff. The working title for Rocky Horror was They Came From Denton High. That's And, odd. yeah, <laughs> does not I didn't know that. have the same feel. Denton. Charmin suggested Rocky Horror Picture Show, or Rocky Horror Show, which was the theatrical production yes and then once it went to the big screen it yes. was the picture show so tim curry was in the theater production and mm -hmm. the movie and yes. he makes the movie he like if tim curry was is... not in this movie there would be no movie like no he is everything um tim curry plays frankenfurter who is the star yes um he some people could say that it might be janet and uh brad those people would be wrong oh, no. i mean they're devil's advocate. they're co-stars for sure <laughs> but without frankenfurter right there's no castle okay and there's no you. there's no rocky in the there's rocky no War. rocky yeah um this was his first film like i guess he was he had done tv stuff tim curry's first film yes mm -hmm. Yes. But this is his first film. He had done several stage productions. Yes. Before. He that. was, it wasn't like he had never acted before, but this was his first film. Yes. And he blew it out of the water. <laughs> Since this, he has 228 credits on IMDb and is well known for several iconic roles and performances, including, but not limited to, Lord of Darkness in Legend, which is Luke's favorite tim curry role that he likes to pull out every time tim curry's name comes up that doesn't surprise me <laughs> cardinal he... Rich richelieu please don't correct me i don't care uh, <laughs> in the three musketeers oh okay yeah long john silver in muppet treasure island which is my favorite tim curry role <laughs> we've uh, got cabin fever have you seen clue yeah i i, I didn't put that on here but yes clue. and of course pennywise and it of his, course. His voice work includes Nigel Thornberry from the Wild Thornberries. I did not know that. And uh, Hexus, which is the villain in Fern Gully. Uh, oh, I did know that. I did know that. I used to love that movie when I was oh, a kid. I do. And Serenity loves it too. So Sage does not. Aw. Yeah. But the planet. I know. And Batty. Like, who doesn't like... I know. Okay. I know. <laughs> so Susan Sarandon, who plays Janet... And I'm going to go ahead and just leap forward and say that I love Susan Sarandon. I, I do. Too. But I do not like her singing voice. She, little known fact, she was actually sick. The while whole they, time? Yeah. Like, well, it, I mean. During the floor show part of the mm -hmm. movie, she actually was shaking with fever. Oh, no. And the castle at the time did not have any heat oh shit and there was um dampness getting in so barry boswick was quoted at some point in time as saying he was always wet uh so she was sick and always wet and so kudos to her right she stuck it out she had several tv roles prior to this uh to her movie career starting which looks like it started two years before, in mm -hmm. 1973, with a couple of roles uh, before Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror is her 15th listed role out of 148 credits on IMDb. Mm -hmm. So, notable movies that I listed, I mean, everybody knows Susan Sarandon from something, but I had Thelma and Louise, Bill, mm -hmm. Bill Durham, I said Bill Durham, <laughs> <laughs> Bill Durham. different movie, uh, Stepmom, <laughs> The Client, I love her in The Client. Barry Bostwick... <laughs> 
Uh, poor Barry Bostwick. Yeah, I he mean, he doesn't do much past. Okay, I hear this is in my notes for the actual movie when we start talking about it. But mm-hmm. did you watch Buffy, right? Yes. Okay, you remember when the Watcher from the UK comes, the young one, vaguely um, Wesley. Oh um, yes, 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 yes. Okay. He looks like, when I was watching the movie and they show him, I was like, oh my god, it's Wesley. <laughs> Except it's like 20 years later. Right, but I think it's the glasses. <laughs> yeah, and the brown hair. Yeah. And he's like tall and And he skinny. has like a professor kind of vibe yeah. at first. Um, but yeah, he was in Rocky Horror. It's his eighth credit out of 157 on IMDb. I guess that's more than I thought he had done. Well, he's recognizable like oh he's that guy he's he's yeah, that guy he's that guy but he's you're not this, really like and the mayor randall winston in spin city i don't know if you ever watched spin I've city i've not well i mean i watch a lot of tv i'm not it's not a show that i've watched from beginning to end but i you know i would watch mama's family oh i love on TBS, mama's family and, like this is one of those shows that i would just pick up you on know a yeah or whatever. yeah in 1975, the highest grossing films in North America were Jaws. That was the number one. Uh, and this was number two, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Which is crazy, because initially, it did really yeah, it was not bad. Well received, I it thought. It was not well received. And the third uh, highest grossing film was One Flew Over the Co- Cuckoo's Nest. Cuckoo's Nest. Yes, yeah. that's hard to say for some reason. Uh, the Oscar winner this year was Godfather Part Two. Part dose. Yeah. Well, I say Oscar winner. I'm in for like dose. <laughs> deuce. <laughs> deuce. <laughs> Notable news that year: the unemployment rate in the U.S. reached 9.2 percent, and recession is recognized by President Ford. Oh, look at you! You really did do research. I did, and Microsoft becomes a registered trademark. Oh. So, in Sony, 1975, mm-hmm. Sony introduces Betamax videotapes, and JVC introduces VHS. Oh, guys. 1975 is a big year. Inventions <laughs> invented by inventors and country or attributed to first use. The personal computer in the USA uh, by Microsoft. The digital camera by Kodak and laser printer by the USA. Wow. That's all it says. I didn't realize any of that came out That's like before should. we were born. <laughs> we were familiar with like. Yeah. And use. Yeah. Frequently. Yes. Mm-hmm. So. That's pretty much all of my research. Let's talk about the movie. Yes. Let me go over to those notes. So, the movie starts out at... uh, A wedding. A wedding. Betty Monroe Mm -hmm. and Ralph something or other. I did not catch their names. Uh, Well, I I only know because in Damn It, Janet... Or like she when he proposes, about the ring she's bigger. like, "It's better than Betty Monroe had," and you immediately think, "Damn it, Janet!" And then the song starts, mm-hmm. which is fitting because you're like, "You fucking cunt!" I did not have that reaction. Well, you're just like, "Oh, gold digger." <laughs> yes, but um, the priest Tim Curry that is in my notes. Good. And the farmer and, and his wife is Riff Raff and Magenta, right? Yes. 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 And that painting, uh, the classic painting of the farmer and, and his wife, wife mm-hmm. is hanging up in the mansion yes. and Riff Raff like stands next to it. And mm-hmm. I was just like, I see what you did yeah. there. <laughs> They're very clever. We have the wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, Damn it, Janet. Damn it, Janet. And then they decide, oh, let's go see the professor that caused us to meet, which right. is Also, Dr. can we Scott? just interject? Um, Brad is a piece of shit for proposing at someone else's wedding. I know everybody's pretty much gone. At least he waited until the bride and groom left, but I agree. That's like, a I have shitty... strong opinions about this. Like, shitty thing to do. There are... 365 days in a year you don't need to choose my wedding day to propose like fuck off moving on we end up in the car it's dark it's stormy we're driving bam pop tires there are motorcycles passing where the fuck are these motorcycles coming from it's a dead end brad and janet get out of the car and walk to frankenfurter's castle now brad does offer to go alone yeah but janet's Janet's like no I don't blame her because yeah, I wouldn't want to be alone on that. Road. I'm not staying in the fucking car. Like that's how you get killed. 
Oh, yeah. Of course, and going to the castle could be another way that you the get The super killed. British dude shows up to narrate as... Yes. Yes. The super British dude shows up. That I is, don't actually know his name. He's just the narrator. In my notes, he is super British dude. <laughs> no joke. Um, That's exactly what it says. I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. Uh, let's see. They we get to the castle. get there. They Cheekbones. do... Yes, Riff Raff sings his song. They do the time warp. They do the time warp, which, fun fact, was not initially in the movie, um, but the movie wasn't going to be long enough, so they wrote that as filler, hmm. which is great because it has become a huge. A big deal, yeah. It is huge. Um, the extra extras, I noticed, were like all ages, all sizes. All sizes. All colors. Yes. It was... Is a very forward-thinking movie. After the time warp, mm -hmm. Frankenfurter yes. comes down. From then the, the movie elevator. really gets started. And then the movie really gets started with my favorite song, which is currently my ringtone, <laughs> uh, Sweet Transvestite. Um, In my notes, I have the quote, you both look like you're pretty groovy. And I just wrote, no. No, they do not. <laughs> <laughs> he says maybe we can grab an old steve reeves movie you both look like you're pretty good sorry i've watched this movie at least a thousand times the first time i saw it i was seven so we're going on two decades worth of movies I've seen it twice yeah so frankenfurter tim curry some dude i can't remember why he was important he did something he created frankenfurter's look Hmm. But he took so long to apply the makeup that Tim Curry ended up doing it himself much, much more quickly. Nice. Another note I have is that Frankenfurter, Magenta, Riff Raff, and Columbia are squad goals. Squad they have goals. they shot where like yes. he's draped he's, across the yes. chair and they're like in a triangle. Mm. And it is just fabulous on every it's, level. It is definitely squad goals brad is quite comfortable with being undressed uh he Jana is, is being a normal person and is right like, what she's the hell like, is happening why are my clothes being taken off? she's just a woman like, she's a woman she's like wait a second what is going on here brad's like my dick's not out so there's that <laughs> harambe is not dead yet <laughs> so um, that's frankenfurter's arrival yes yes which is beautiful and then we go to the lab uh, to see what's on the slab. Right. And Rocky sings. Rocky does not sing. Well, I have Rocky's song. Rocky's song, yes. So they're singing about Rocky. Rocky, bless his heart, he, they edited out all of his speaking roles. And Did he have, was he like Arnold? Did he have like a, an accent? I don't issue? know. I have no idea what that guy sounds like. I have no idea. He does sing. He, the last no, scene. he does not sing. Well, his lips move someone, and someone sings. Someone else sings. <laughs> I can't remember the guy's name. I can't remember Rocky's Rocky. name. But somebody else sings. Like an and Aryan he, wet dream. Yeah. Yeah. In <laughs> those tiny shorts, though, I kind of feel like he's got a small dick. Like, you, well, you said it was cold in the castle. It was cold not in the castle. I mean, it could be. Maybe he's a grower, not a shower, but who knows? <laughs> uh, not my squad goals. I love how he's coming out of a vat of liquid. Yes, and it's rainbow. And he is bone dry. And he is bone dry. His bandages or whatever they are, dry. His, His mummy, hair, dry. Dry. His, His whole body, skin, dry. Dry. It's yes. some kind of magic. It's something. Tim Curry can run in heels better than any woman that yes, I've ever met. Yes, I have met. seen so many models eat it. I actually enjoy watching it. <laughs> I've watched a lot of seasons of America's Next Top Model, and I it's did great. Too. And uh, he can rock some heels. He can. And the statue's nails are painted. That was a note that I made. Yes. Which I yes. thought was very funny. The part where Rocky is running around the room mm -hmm. and Tim Curry is chasing him rocky didn't know that was gonna happen his <laughs> no, expressions his expressions are legit <laughs> genuine just like oh tim curry God. just did that i mean that's what you do when you're in a play he just fucking did shit and it worked after and then we have rocky. In just seven days i can make you a man yes 
and then the deep freeze guy. That's which later. Eddie I find out is Eddie? meatloaf. Yes, oh, shit. it is meatloaf. That's yes, in my notes too. It I'm is like, is meatloaf. This meatloaf, and I didn't look it up because. And amazing. he was actually disappointed mm-hmm. because in the original, I guess the stage play, the same guy that played Eddie played Doctor Scott. He thought he was going to play Dr. Scott too and he was bummed and he was like, man, I would have made a really great Dr. Scott. But he made a good... He made... I'm not sure. I thought it was Andy. Eddie. Okay. Eddie. I believe you. You should. (laughs) Because I'm right. (laughs) He breaks in. Literally. And suddenly, Rocky is oiled up. (laughs) Yes. Yes, he is. what, what, What did I miss? Tim Curry at some point was slathering him with like baby oil like you do like you do so then your newly born seven day old man then rock and roll guy eats it eddie yes yes <laughs> and they do the seven days reprisal mm-hmm. that's a word that i used i assume that i reprisal. used it correctly yes eddie's dead now bt right. dubs spoiler mm, super alert dead. spoiler alert mm. uh frank and Furter doesn't R. like R. to Share the limelight. Dicks so, out for Eddie. Dicks out for Eddie. Uh, sorry, Columbia. Oh, yeah. She's really bummed about it. She is. So, Janet and Frankenfurter. Janet is so hard to convince. <laughs> like, she really holds out. She She's a virgin. <laughs> I remember back when I was a virgin, it was a little... <laughs> do you remember? I do. It wasn't... <laughs> I mean, it was a little while ago. Let's not talk about it. But it was a little bit more difficult than mm, that right to talk Especially me with out of my man i just clothes. met who wears makeup better than i do <laughs> to be fair though he came in and he's like pretending to be brad which by the way is more convincing than when he goes in pretending to be <laughs> it Janet. Is much more convincing I'm and like, what's Bro. up what's up brad you're like hey yeah okay and yeah. then he's like yeah <laughs> And I'm just like, Brad. I mean, I think we all saw it coming. You're engaged to Janet. Uh, Riff Raff and Magenta start to torment Rocky. Which is both awful and hilarious. (laughs) Like, sorry, Rocky, you're so dumb. Like, because your head is full of rocks. Thank you, Columbia. Then Brad and Frankenfurter have their interlude. Their, um... And I'm like, how, how does one mistake Frank and Furter for Janet? Like, he has a dick, bro. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know, eight inches taller than her. And, and broader and different in every I'm, possible way. I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there. He's hotter than Janet. Like, I mean, I, it does depend on what you're looking for in a person. But yes, I see your point really attract like i don't want my husband to come home and wear garters and luke has <laughs> done drag like that's okay frankenfurter mm-hmm. tim curry not frankenfurter tim curry has said to all the future frankenfurters don't think of it as doing drag you're a transylvanian this is how they dress mm. so it's not drag it's a way of life well i'm just saying that i've i've seen I've actually, I've seen Zach do drag, too, <laughs> for my 21st birthday because I was pregnant and we couldn't go to the drag show like I actually Aww. wanted to. That's sweet. It was funny. <laughs> I don't know that I'd say it was sweet, but it was funny. So then Janet looks for Brad mm-hmm. as the dogs look for Rocky. And Janet finds Rocky. But first she sees Brad and frankenfurter on the screen having a cigarette and we all know what that means we all know what that means then we have janet's thirsty song her thirsty song (laughs) touched me and um because i want to feel my only note for that is damn it janet (laughs) damn it janet (laughs) frankenfurter Uh, gets upset over the science rocky oh yeah well i have frankenfurter gets upset over science teacher dr scott Okay. Yes, Dr. because he showed up. What the fuck are you doing here, Doctor Scott? Nobody invited you to this I'm party. Calling wheels, like I'm sorry. <laughs> wheels, <laughs> wheels are no wheels. <laughs> um, and then Rocky and Janet are found out. And I Janet, Doctor Scott, Janet. Yeah, they do that whole like Rocky, <laughs> and it goes yeah. around and around. until you're like okay that's enough yeah don't they do it like three times yes 
I need Magenta to do dinner call at my house. It's time for dinner. No, she says dinner is served. She says dinner is prepared. She oh, goes, she does. <laughs> dinner is prepared. And they're like, oh, okay. Like, we've all gone to bed. Right. Had sex. Worked up an Or appetite. been, you we know, sexually warmth. assaulted by Frankenfurter. But then we decided that we liked it. Right. So it's not it. sexually assault anymore. And then after we've all gone to bed and then gotten out of bed for the it's night, time to eat. dinner is prepared. Right. After the sausage comes dinner. After the sausage comes Just like dinner. in any normal American home. <laughs> <laughs> I have dinner, bad scientist song, bad Dr. Scientist Saw, song. Scott sings, and the only they redeeming quality. Sing the Eddie song. Yes. But the only good thing about Dr. Scott is the und. Und. Yeah, like it didn't get me the first time, but every did. time they repeated it, I'm just like, yeah, no, it's funny. It is. Uh, oh, Riff God. Raff does not give a fuck. No. In this scene. Riff Raff hates everybody at this point. And I got the feeling, did they imply that uh, Eddie is dinner? They did. Okay. They did. I, I picked up on that and I was like, am I reading? Too yeah, no. Dinner? They implied very lightly this is 1975 cannibalism is bad as jeffrey, opposed to 2017 jeffrey dahmer has not been found out yet cannibalism is totally fine you know it's low carb <laughs> <laughs> okay but so. it could possibly be very fatty so <laughs> watch out frankenfurter loses it on janet after revealing andy under the table and freaking eddie. her out eddie sorry eddie under the table another fun fact meatloaf and tim curry the only two people on set who knew that he was under the table oh everybody else's reactions fun completely legitimate they were like oh fuck what's this what is this this is fucking crazy <laughs> now frank and turns everybody to stone yes like you do for his floor show because and i love when they turn to stone and I, their clothes disappear yes i have to roll back just a minute because oh, my probably not my favorite part of the movie but one of my favorite lines in the song is when he says so get a bit of mustard and then everybody's like you're a hot dog but you Better not try and hurt her, Frank Burter. It's, I think it's hilarious and I laugh every single time. I'm glad it brings you joy. It bring this whole movie brings me <laughs> joy. If the people potentially listening to this mm. have not watched this movie, I implore you, mm -hmm. this, you have to see this at least once in your life. Even I would if agree you with that. even if you completely you watch it hate once. it. Even if you don't like musicals, even if you don't like horror movies. Even if you don't like Tim Curry because you're some kind of fucking monster. Well, you will like Tim Curry after seeing it. Like you can't you just will. Oh, I love him. I don't I can't imagine people not like Tim him. Curry. If you're listening to this, He's I not. would love I would love to meet you. He's not. And not in a creepy way. It would kind be. of a creepy way definitely but i love you so he turns them all to stone columbia yes. and rocky too yes columbia columbia is her pissed. ultimate she just like lays it down yeah she it's was me. like it's me or nothing motherfucker mm. eddie is dr scott's nephew yes but in columbia's like i'm crying emo song in her bedroom she kind of infers that eddie was the first creation yes I've got almost 20 years on this movie, and I still don't know what the fuck is up with that. It's not important. It's not. But Columbia loved him. He did have, like, that scar on his head, so maybe, like, fucked up his brain or something. Oh, maybe he's like a Frankenstein. Yeah, could be. Oh, and I have Magenta and Riff Raff are brother and sister. All right, that's Magenta cool. and Riff Super Raff British are dude. brother and sister. Comes to tell us what we need to know. The narrator comes to be like, this is what's happened in case you guys are fucking yes. stupid and you've missed it. <laughs> he had a great line where Brad and Janet have both tasted forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit. Yes. Then we have the statue song. You have the where there are song. statues and then they are not statues. It's the but floor they're all show. in horses. Yes. Yes. They're beautiful. 
There. And then they're all in the pool doing their sexy song, and you see Susan Sarandon's nipple. I did not notice that. I notice nipples. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> uh, Brad, can- <laughs> Brad cannot pull off heels, but either no. he is extremely flexible or he had a leg double because he gets his leg up high. Hi. Yeah, Jesus. I can't do that. I mean, not without warming up. Uh, well, then. I mean, I couldn't hold it. <laughs> right. That's and fair. let's talk about Dr. Scott's leg. What <laughs> the fuck is up under that blanket? I don't want to know. <laughs> like, that was that was a nice leg. We're talking uh, you'll shoot your eye out Christmas story lamp leg. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Curry sings Don't Dream It, Be It. Don't Dream It, Be It. Mm-hmm. Yes. Rocky is not a high kicker. I don't know. I mean, you've seen it 10,000 times. But w- when Rocky, they're doing the can can they're, kicks, yeah, they're like, everybody kicks, is like, getting super, super high. And, and Rocky's like, just like, I have nuts, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't kick my own face in. Like, I have muscles. <laughs> uh, let's nuts. see. Riff Raff and Magenta break in. In their fucking silver space costumes. And yes. now Magenta's... Hair. hair is like bride she of has frankenstein like that what she the did not fuck have. what the fuck has happened here oh. why why are you now bride she's of going frankenstein? home she had to like you know okay okay she was like let me go get my hair did i was about to say i bet columbia helped her but she did i mean columbia was stone she was stoned maybe that's the white <laughs> she just, she, just she was like let me rub my face on you real quick i miss you i love you so much <laughs> Riff Raff tells Frankenfurter that his mission is a failure. Fuck you. Your lifestyle is too extreme. He literally sings those words. Not the fuck you part. Right. But everything else is pretty accurate to the story. Mm-hmm. Then they kill him. Frankenfurter sings his I'm going home song. Right. Starts climbing up, or no, he starts doing fucking whatever, and they shoot him, and then Rocky comes, and he's like, because ah! he's he fucking mourns. stupid, and he doesn't know how to speak. Then he carries him up the fucking broadcasting tower, cell phone, they fall into the pool. <laughs> cell phone tower before yes, cell phones were cell phones, and they fall into the pool, and Riff Raff and Magenta look at the humans, and they're like, GTFO. Right. Peace out. Homeless. We're leaving. Next, they're in the courtyard and you see the fucking castle lift off into the sky. Which like they do. is pretty incredible for 1975. Let's be honest. Like, good job, guys. They go back to transsexual. Uh, Transylvania. I wrote transsexual. That doesn't make it right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does. <laughs> I typed that he says. He says, I'm a sweet transvestite. Well, they're from transsex- transsexual Transylvania, so I we're think both right. Riff Raff says we're going back to transsexual. He might have said Transylvania, and I was just too busy typing transsexual. You were like, "Oh, they said transsexual. Let me get this in my it notes." Was funny. <laughs> I was just like, oh, "Okay, the planet is transsexual." Um, and then let's Janet remember and Brad sing, that this is reason. 1975, and we're totally okay with transsexuals. And this is now 2017, and we're not. We we're that's not mic drop. <laughs> like, please don't drop the mics. I can't. I'm not holding it up. <laughs> <laughs> Janet and Brad sing again. Yeah, which is when like I was like, okay, I thought it before, but now I know. I never want to hear Susan Sarandon. Yeah, thing. she's not the best singer, but she was sick, and she was not the worst singer in that movie. She was pretty close, but not the worst. She was the worst one that had to sing the most. That's true. I'll give you that. And then the narrator signs off. And the movie's over. Yep. Verdicts? I think we can agree that the MVP of this is Tim Tim Curry. Curry. Tim Curry is my MVP in everything. Like, I love my son. (laughs) Oh, my God. I don't know where this is going. I love my son. Mm Mm-hmm. But? But if my son kicked a puppy... I would be mad at him. If Tim Curry kicked a puppy, I would still, like, worship the ground he walked on. All is forgiven. I love him. There's... 
it's probably a good thing that I don't know where he lives. So what do you like about this movie? What do I not like? I love, I don't know. Like, so I said. Like, is it the music, the acting, the concept? All of the above. So I was introduced to this movie when I was seven. BT Dubs, I would not recommend that you let your seven-year-olds watch this movie. It's right. a little bit heavy. But I really enjoyed it, and apparently my mother did not care uh, about me watching it because she was there the whole time, and I was just like, this is incredible. Tim Curry is amazing. Columbia was my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, she's so cute. I think she's Nell Campbell. She's actually a tap dancer, BT da- or was. Mm-hmm. She has a little like tap solo. She does during uh, Time Warp. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It was like I... It's the first thing I remember watching that was really over the top. Mm. And I just, like, there's nothing about it that I don't love. Like, from the fucking beginning, the wedding scene with the fucking car, with what I'm pretty sure is shaving cream. BT dubs, don't put shaving cream on your car. It'll eat the paint. I didn't know that. I'm pretty sure that I read that somewhere. The more you know. Uh, but they but they wrote, she got hers, now he'll get his on the side of the car. Yeah, that's funny. I did not pick up on that when I was a child. Yeah. <laughs> a few years later, I did pick up on that. And I was like, oh, uh-huh. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Um, so it's, it's so flashy. Like, imagine watching this. You're... Don't imagine getting all the innuendos because I did not. Right. But imagine watching all this glitz and glamour and high heels and mm-hmm. show business mm-hmm. when you're seven and you're just like, this is amazing. This is the best. I can't pick a favorite part. I love everything. I love it. I did not see this as a child. You did I did not. not see this as a teenager. You I did saw not. this when I was 28. <laughs> Were you 28? Were you still 27? Doesn't matter. Late 20s. Late 20s. Uh, I can appreciate Tim Curry's performance. Yes. Uh, I can appreciate the humor. Yes. That is this movie. Um, (laughs) The blatant humor. It's just, it's, it doesn't resonate with me. I don't have any kind of special Uh. affection for it. But I was able to watch it twice without, like, forcing myself to. Like, I sat down specifically to watch it, but it wasn't like I was making myself watch Uh, it. You know what I mean? That's the... (sighs) I feel like there are certain movies that you need to see during certain, like... Times? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, when I was a kid, one of the movies I would watch on repeat was, uh, well, Dirty Dancing, but that's a different story, but... Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Oh, that's a good one. But if you don't see it when you're young, like, if you had never seen it and you watched it it, at 30 years old, you would be like, what the fuck is, like, why doesn't he have a British accent? And, like... (laughs) You'd be like, wait a second, where is this even at? Right, exactly. And, like, shouldn't they do something with that blind guy? Like, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of questions involved. Yeah. But when when you watch it as a kid, like, I still have an affinity for that movie. You just take it as just take it as yeah, it is. Like, and you're I can like, watch it now, and, I'm and just anybody like, that questions you, you're like, it's a movie, not a fucking. Right. It's How not dare like, you question it? Yeah, you know. So I feel like this is one of those movies that if I'd seen it sooner, I probably would like it a lot more. But right. it's all right. We can get to the verdict. I think the verdict, probably the final verdict. I don't think we'll completely agree on mm-hmm. the greatness of this movie because mm-hmm. we. I mean, I've spent most of my life with this, and you've spent... I just met it. Yeah, you went on a couple dates and decided it wasn't going to work out. Right. Which is fine. Uh, But I do think that we can agree that at least once, you should watch this movie. Yes. Because it it is an experience. I think there's a lot of movies that you should watch once. Yes. A particular movie is the one we're talking about. (laughs) Right. Okay, so our verdict is watch it. Watch it. Love it. Leave it. Doesn't let matter. us know. Just see it. Just see it. Yes, but let us know gently. Gently. Be- because Vicky has emotions. I do 
have and she emotions. also has admin rights to the Facebook. <laughs> I do have admin rights to the Facebook, which brings us to our Facebook page is the Drama Mamas podcast. Like mm-hmm. us, leave us reviews, comments. Mm-hmm. Our email is dramamamaspodcast at gmail.com. Basically, reach out and uh, remember to save the drama for these mamas. Next week on the Drama Mamas. All I could think of was, man, those boobs are small, but they're like good boobs. Right. Yeah. They're she, really they're good They're not boobs. big, but they are well They're well made. <laughs> well made boobs. Good job.